All right, what's going on, guys? So with the new season, Crystal Guard, it is that time where I go over my settings. I know a lot of you guys have been asking what my settings and peripherals are that I'm using for the new season. So in today's video, I'm going to go over that. And all I want to say, make sure you watch until the very end of the video because I always get comments on these settings video. Well, what's this? What's that? What's this? Watch until the end of the video. I'm going to go over literally everything. So if you have any questions, it will be answered in this video, okay? Awesome. All right, so let's first start off with my in-game settings. And I swear to God, if I see anybody comment, why are you Platsy? Listen, I have 11 games played. You do not hit champion off of 11 games. So let's just... <sighs> Anyways, let's move on. Settings. So firstly, matchmaking preferences. I play um, this, I guess. Wait, actually, why are these off? What? Okay, that's what I play. Anyways, uh, I play plain T hunt on, um, well, it's actually supposed to be disarm the bomb. I don't know why all of these are on, but that's supposed to just be disarm the bomb. Next up is interface settings. So I play with scoring off. I know it's a big question. I'll go ahead and scroll through all these while I explain this. So, um, the reason I play with scoring off the points is because I used to play competitively. And when you play siege competitively, like. You know whether it's scrims pro league cl it doesn't matter what it is if you're playing competitively you have to have your points off you just they're, they're just off by default right so something that a lot of competitive players would do is turn off their points when they're playing ranked like i do and then when they go to play competitively they go play in that scrim or whatever it may be the they're already adjusted to having points off right so that's the reason i have it off there is no like specific hidden secret to turning them off and you're suddenly bolo or something no it's just the only reason uh so let's see ping on display performance metrics i have this off um i know a lot of people are asking what my fps counter is here in the top left you want to open up your you play menu you want to go to the settings and then you want to find display fps counter in game and then you want to click that on right there that's it that's my fps counter so um drone after prep uh manual match replay on tech chat all next for the audio settings i play with subtitles on there's also no super hidden secret reason for this i just had them on uh master volumes on 70 my desktop volumes on 100 music's on zero dialogue on 70 uh dynamic range i play in night mode i've never really played on any of the other ones tv or or hi-fi so i don't know if they're better maybe they are who knows i don't really care either uh, mute on unfocus on and voice chat record mode push stock. So next up to display, I'm not going to say what my monitors are right now. Um, I will explain that here in a second when we get more to like the setup tour, cause I'm going to do a little bit of a setup tour and explain like my peripherals. But for right now I play on a, uh, 1920 by 1080 P monitor. It's a 240 Hertz monitor. As you can see, I play full screen. Of course, my aspect ratio is four, three. There is no such thing as the best aspect ratio, so don't even ask. It's just whatever you like. Completely personal preference. If you like 69, use 69. If you like 5.4, use 5.4. I like 4.3. Same goes with the field of view. I'm on 84. If you like 85, use 85. If you like 83, use 83. There's no super secret hidden reason. All right. Widescreen letterbox off. FPS limit off. VSync off. Um, HUD display area. I've never messed with this, but I've got it on 100, which I believe is default. All right, as for graphic settings, um, I've messed with this a little bit. Um, I forget which it was, but if you have one of these on, like a uh, white box in the corner left of your screen will like come on every time you shoot. And I was told just to turn this stuff off because that's what was causing it. So maybe they're great to have on. I don't really care either way. Uh, I just have them off. I don't think it's that deep. Overall settings here, I'll scroll through you guys and pause. Make sure you guys have your shadows on medium because if you do not have shadows on medium, you will not have dynamic shadows. Dyn dynamic shadows are basically like if a player model moves, like an enemy player moves, you can see their shadow before you see them, which gives you time to pre-fire them. So uh, yeah. And if you guys have seen my last settings video, you'll know that I used to play with TA on and like render scaling 25 and the sharpness at 100 or something crazy. Luckily... As you guys can see down here, I've got a 3090 now. My PC is, is a beast. So I no longer need to play on TEA to get more FPS. But if you need more FPS, you can play on TEA and adjust these settings and you will get more FPS, but your game's gonna be a bit blurry. I made a whole video on how to get more FPS. You can check it out in the tip playlist. Links in the description. That's what I play on right now. 
as for controls so i know that my sensitivity in the youtube description is different than it is on twitch the reason for that is as of late i've kind of been experimenting with my sense and it's easier for my mods just to like change it on twitch than for me to go into my youtube settings and change it there and then go on every video and change it it's just kind of a hassle so i don't know what my sense is right now i'm experimenting with 10 between 10 and 12. right now i'm on 11. generally i play 12. if you guys are like watching my videos for a few months now i was probably on 12 horizontal vertical normally that's what i'm on right now it's 11. sometimes it might be 10. who knows it's in that range right uh ron put on i don't really know why it's just on i've been told to put it on so i put it on i don't think it's that deep now scroll wheel disabled of course gadget deployment on advanced drone deployment advanced aim is on toggle i do play toggle aim i know it's a a lot of people are surprised when i say that but you don't know what toggle aim is you basically grab your mouse and you hit the right click once and you're ads and you could completely let go of your mouse and you're still ads if you click it again you want ads simple as that uh, i prefer it i think it's easier on your wrist i think it's easier to hold angles that's just me play on it if you like don't play on it if you don't want to lean on toggle sprint on hold crouch on toggle prone on toggle walk on hold um which actually should be on toggle i don't know why it's on that yeah leave it to me to forget my ads settings when i'm uh then i'm going to record everything right so for my ads sense i'm using 37 for the 1x the 1.5 62 2x 62 2.5 64 you guys get the gist of it you guys see it you guys to pause look at it if you like that is it though totally forgot to record that all right so let's get into the controls here uh yeah because that's all controller settings all right so I'll, I'll go ahead and just scroll through this and you guys can pause and you know see what you want to see uh as for like I know I'm gonna get questions like, should I have lean keys on my leans on this key or that key, my mouse, whatever it is. Personally, I would suggest keeping your leans on Q and E. That's just me personally. I think that the people that put their leans on their on their mouse buttons are kind of hindering themselves because when you go to press the lean key when it's on your mouse, you're actually moving your mouse and you're adding extra pressure to your mouse, which can kind of throw off your aim. Especially if you, have, if you have a higher sense, like if you're on like 800 DPI or something and you put a little bit of pressure on your mouse, um, you're going everywhere. So personally, I would recommend keeping it to your keyboard and Q and E, but experiment with what you want. It's, you know, personal controls. It's all personal preference. I think this is all like just spectator. Yeah. All right. So that's that accessibility. So I use um, purple, pink, whatever it is on 100% opacity. This is another one of those where I think it doesn't matter what you use. Literally all the settings are personal preference. You may, you may see me like clickbait this video, the best settings. That's just what gets views. People want to know what the best setting is. The truth is there's no best settings. It's literally what you want to use, right? The only thing I could say, like there's the quote unquote best settings for would be like graphic settings, because like there are some that legitimately give you better FPS or visibility, but like for the most part, there's literally no such thing at all. So optic color purple optic capacity 100 that's about all there is to say about that um so yeah that covers the settings we'll go ahead and move into my peripherals and overall setup now all right so firstly starting off with my keyboard i'm running the razor huntsman mini it's a 60 percent linear keyboard i like it a lot got no problems with it whatsoever my mouse is the razor viper ultimate i'm using tiger ice third party feet on it I've got no problems with this mouse besides the fact that the sensor is really really buggy it constantly freezes up on me and I've had two Vipers now and the same problem each time. It's a brand new mouse. Just ordered it two months ago. Still broken. Not a huge fan of that. I was using the G Pro Superlight with Hyperglides. I do like that mouse a lot. I prefer the shape a little bit more on the Viper, but the G Pro Superlight is a great mouse. As for my mouse pad, I'm using the HyperX Extra Extra Large. If you guys have been watching my Twitch channel for a few years now, you guys will know that I absolutely love this mouse pad i've been using it literally since i started streaming it's an amazing mouse pad as for my audio setup i'm running the go xlr into a dm1 dynamite into my shura sm7b for my headphones i'm running the arctis pro 7 wireless headset from steel series all right so as for the monitors that i have i have three monitors one of them which is the main one that i actually play on is a 24 inch 240 hertz 1080p aurorus monitor it's got a 0.4 ms response time uh overall amazing monitor absolutely love it as for my other two monitors i've got two monitors vertically mounted 
and those are the auroras 27 inch 165 hertz 1440p monitors one ms response time also i do apologize for not having a greater like picture of my actual setup so i actually had to record this entire thing with my camera plugged into my computer and that cord is only so long so i wasn't really able to get any wide shots of my pc setup so i apologize for that i would explain why but it's a long story so long story short i will be able to record an actual settings video at a later date all right so speaking of my camera i'm currently using the sony a6000 to record this and i'm also using the sigma 16 millimeter f1.4 dc lens already under the star of the setup which has got to be my nzxt pre-built pc the reason i went pre-built because i know a lot of you guys are going to ask is because i wanted a 3090 and i could not find one for sale that was a reasonable price so i figured you know what i'm just going to buy pre-built this one was more affordable the entire pc was more affordable than an individual 3090 so that's why i got this pc if you want to check it out it's the nzxt creator pc it's got a i9 11900k an rtx 3090 64 gigs of ram and i've probably got a few terabytes of ssd space and a lot more terabytes of hdd space probably close to like 12 or 15 terabytes in total so for the cpu cooler i'm running the nzxt kraken x63 my motherboard is apparently just the z490 that's all it says on the website so there you go my psu is the 850 watt gold psu and i'm using windows 10 for the operating system yeah overall this pc has been awesome i've had zero complaints with it it's it's ran amazingly i'm getting like 250 fps in warzone like five to 600 fps in siege at times it is actually insane so i'd highly recommend this pc if you guys are looking to upgrade again it's the nzxt creator pc all right i appreciate you guys watching the video i hope you did enjoy the video i am going to do a full-on setup tour like eventually right now like the way my camera is set up obviously i can't show you because i'm recording with it but i have a cord going into my cam link in my pc and then i have the dummy battery into the camera so i can continuously record right well uh, I don't really have an SD card or a way of transferring the data from an SD card to my computer. So I was not able to record with the camera and like come back and show you guys the actual setup, unfortunately. So I literally had to take it, the camera off the mount and just like look around with it attached to the computer. Not fun, very difficult, but I shot what I could with it. But eventually I probably will make a setup video on my second channel so you guys could probably check that out with the link in the description i'll also post it to like instagram twitter all that good stuff so you guys can check that out with the links in the description i do hope you enjoyed the video if you did remember to subscribe like the video comment helps out the youtube algorithm i would appreciate that anyways though make sure to follow me on twitch link in the description once again i will talk to you guys later have a great day